footage on it Wednesday, February 14th. And I'm back in Montana for real this time. It's cold. Can you see my breath? And it's snowing. I've returned home to a bit of a disaster. My hard drive is corrupt, and I think I might have to go get a new computer, but today is Valentine's Day, so I feel kind of bad taking my wife to Best Buy when I should be taking her to, I don't know, wherever you go on Valentine's Day. I should probably make some kind of plan. I've come down to the basement. It's cold out there. Actually, Valentine's Day is a pretty exciting day for me, because while in high school, I deciphered the true meaning of Valentine's Day. Using a little bit of back-of-the-napkin etymology. Etymology? Entomology. Etymology? Etymology. I worked out the true meaning of Valentine's Day. The word Valentine comes from two roots. The word Valen, and the word tine. Now, most of us know what a tine is. It's one of these. This fork has four tines. Tine comes from the word zine, which is a German word that means pinnacle or point. Now, the word Valen is less well known. Babylon 5 aficionados will tell you that Valen was the Minbari, not born of Minbari, who brought the thousand year peace to the Minbari people after the Shadow War. Thus, we have Valen, a semi-god of the Minbari people and time traveler, and the word pinnacle, or point. My assumption must be that Valen came to Earth in its past and brought us a slightly different message, and this message had something to do with Valen's... pinnacle. Thus, the romantic connotation. I believe that Valen visited Earth sometime in the early 11th century, and that his visit was responsible for a spike in the human population. Valen brought the message of his pinnacle which increased the birth rate and gave us a romantic holiday to celebrate. Happy Valen's Penis Day! Is it weird that that's the reason that I like Valentine's Day? Anyway, I promise you the Strawberry Hill Challenge and here it is! I've just watched it for the first time myself and... well, you'll see. To Brotherhood. Oh, it made me drool. It's left a kind of film on the inside of my mouth. It's it back here. I have successfully completed the Strawberry Hill Challenge. And it made me pretty burpy. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of it, because I'm definitely not going to drink it. I have a confession to make. It doesn't taste good, but I keep wanting to drink more. Did you know that this was going to happen? Did you know that I was going to have one glass and then I would have to drink the entire bottle and that would make me puke? It tastes so bad. How is there only that much left? This is what I have left of the Booms Farm Strawberry Hill flavored citrus wine. There's not any more Strawberry Hill left. Eat five sheets of toilet paper while discussing the political situation in Nepal. Eat five sheets of toilet paper while discussing the political situation in Nepal. In the political situation in Nepal. Eat five sheets of toilet paper while discussing the political situation in Nepal.